Navardine Anderson. Um, I, I attend Rutgers Prep in New Jersey, and I'm 6'11". Okay. Um, I attended Edwin Allen High School in Clarendon, Frank Field, and I played netball for them and for Jamaica under-16 netball team. The transition from netball to basketball is very hard because they're like completely different, two different sports. Because in netball, I didn't used to like run up and down, up and down, and they didn't have a backboard. And now in basketball, you have to learn how to use a backboard and everything. But I mean, I'm coming along pretty, you know, pretty good. <laughs> when I when I first started playing basketball, their reaction was, "Wow, she's tall," and. Because I'm always smiling and everything, like my personality attracts them, so they they didn't like get too scared. But when it's game time, it's game time. I have a game face and everything. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then um, in the first game, like this girl was crying and everything, and I went over to her and I was like, it's okay, it's gonna be fine. But I didn't know I couldn't do that in the middle of the game. And my coach was like, Bobby, you can't do that. You gotta do that half to the game and everything. I was like, okay. So <laughs> that was one thing I learned like the first game that you can't really, you know, talk to them like that in the middle of a game. You got to do that before or after the game. But my experiences are like great. I see basketball as like, the key to my future right now because it's helping me to go to high school, which I'm at right now. And then I'm going to go to college next year. So I'm going to use basketball to get a college education so that like it can be easier for me later on so I can help my mom and my family to you know get out of certain situations and yeah if I continue doing what I'm doing then I can do it I can make it happen well it's a well my training is like getting harder because I'm getting older so like a lot of a lot is expected of me so I have to like put in a lot of hard work and it's fun because the people that I'm working with they're like fun to like work out with they don't make it boring so I enjoy working out even though it's harder I work out um, five days a week and when it's basketball season I work out six days a week it feels great Make me feel like say, you know, they are firing again. But when I just came here, it was like very hot. But I don't mind it because I'm around like warm people and the um the weather is nice and the water and everything. So the heat doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> You're looking forward to representing your country. Yes, I'm looking forward to representing Jamaica. Why? Because like when you're out there and you're wearing black, green and gold <laughs> Like when you're wearing your color and you feel you just feel like you're you're like you you're representing your country so you feel like like everybody in Jamaica is behind you hundred percent. So you feel strong and you feel motivated, you know? You have a whole country behind you. Yeah, you have a whole country behind you and it's just great. You gotta like yeah, you gotta present yourself well. Because whatever you do like you represent your country, not even in, not just in sport, but in everything you do. So you got to like present yourself. You got to learn how to come across and everything because you don't know who has their eyes on you, you know, because they all going to know that, oh, she represents Jamaica. So they're going to like expect great things from you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I just went to the school, everybody, um, because I'm from Jamaica, they were like, oh, my God, you know, Bob Marley. I'm like, yeah, I know Bob Marley. Like, I don't even know Bob Marley. <laughs> But because you're from Jamaica, they expect you to like know Bob Marley, where he's from, what he eats, and everything. But like when you from when you go like overseas, no matter where you go, and you tell people that you're from Jamaica, they kind of look up to you because like Jamaica is a nice place, and the people there we're like phenomenal, we're unique because we have the fastest man in the world, the tallest teenage girl in the world. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> Well, when they ask me to speak Jamaican, I'm like, Wagwan man. <laughs> That's all they always want me to say, Wagwan man. They always say man behind everything. Like, that's going to make them Jamaican. But it's fun to hear them speak Jamaican. <laughs> um, being the tallest teenage girl in the world, it's fun because 
you don't like wherever you go you don't really see females that are like over six foot five so it makes me feel special and unique and it's a blessing and I'm very grateful because this height is like taking me far you know and with a good personality too it's like great help and the height is like helping me go far far away I'm gonna um go and sign up for the Special Olympics in America because um, people that are different, they're there and I'm different too because like you don't find pe teenage girls that are 6 foot 11 and I don't want them to feel like they're alone, the people that participate in the Special Olympics. So if I go there then I can inspire a lot of people because they're special but in their own different ways and I don't want them to feel like they're alone, you know, being different. Because I'm different too. It was it was great being on the Oprah show because I want I've always wanted to be on the show since I was five, <laughs> and when she like made the appointment for the interview, I was like, wow, Oprah is making an appointment for me to be on a show, and like when I was on the show, it was like so nice like sitting next to her and talking to her off the air she's phenomenal like she's fun to talk to like off the air and on the air and it's fun it was fun being on her show i like to major in communication in college because like with the personality and everything i think it would be great and i want to play professional basketball after college so i don't want to do like something that i'm going to have to like stick to like for instance i wanted to be a pediatrician but if I do that, then I'm not gonna have in, like I can't. I'm not gonna be able to balance that with the sport. Yeah, I think I'll be a good communicator because I have a lot of story to tell, and I can relate to a lot of people. <laughs> I'm proud that I'm Jamaican because, like, it shows that no, it doesn't matter the size. Jamaica is very small, but we have strong people here, and I'm proud to be a Jamaican because I can speak out on behalf of anybody, and. I'm very proud to be a Jamaican. <laughs> I'm very proud to be a Jamaican.